friends, this is Uncle Elijah. Are you ready to study the Bible? Yes, uh, uh, that's great. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for me. Good day to be more like you. In Jesus' name, amen. And find our story in the book of Esther. The king made a big feast. And he invited everybody to uh, the feast. And uh, the king told the Vashti to come so everybody could stare at her and see how beautiful she was. And she th didn't think that was good. So she refused to come. It, they were all drunk, so Queen Vashti thought it was not a pro pre yet. You could find the location was in Shushan. And so the king was angry that she would come and wouldn't come. So he took away Vastri's crown and he told her to go far away. Now they needed a new queen. They made a law that said all the young unmarried girls to come to the palace. And the king is supposed to choose the prettiest for the new queen. When the king saw Esther, he put the crown on her head and made her the new queen. Mordecai heard two of the king's sermons and planning to kill the king. And Mordecai told the king that they were going to kill him. The king had them killed. And nothing was done to order, honor Mordecai. The king had a best friend whose name was Haman. And he was a really wicked man. And he had a terrible plan. He had a terrible plan. His, uh, his plan was to tell the king there was a, a certain people that didn't obey the king's laws. And they needed to be killed. It was so important to Haman that he offered, he offered to give the king lots and lots of money to have them killed. And the king said, here you take my seal and you take care of it for me. Haman was delighted. He made a terrible law that said, Every Jew from the whole province would be killed on the, on the 13th, 13th day of the 12th month. He sealed it with his king's seal. So Mordecai tore his clothes because Haman made the law that said he, he and everybody else would be killed. So Esther's servant said, what's wrong with him? He won't eat? He tore his clothes? What's, uh, what? Uh, why is he so sad? Esther sent the servants back to say, why are you so sad? And he told about the law. You need, he said that you need to go before the king and plead for, for your people. He said, maybe God put you in the king, kingdom, kingdom for such a time as this. And Esther said that if she went before the king, she would be killed. No one could go to the king and Lester called unless the king holds out the golden scepter. So, so she told him to gather all the Jews and to fast and pray. 
for three days, and she and her maids would do the same. And then she would go before the king. So she, they fasted and they prayed. And then she put on her prettiest clothes and got ready to see the king. And when she entered, the king pulled out his golden scepter. And he said, what do you want, Esther? She couldn't tell him right away. She said, come to my bank banquet that I have made for you at my place. He said, what do you want? And Esther said, come to another banquet. And at that banquet, the king was still curious about about it. So she he asked her, what do you want from me? And she said, the life of me and my people, we have been sold to, to be killed. And the king said, who did her do such a thing? She said, it's this it's a wicked Haman. And the king ordered that Haman would be killed. And Mordecai and every, and, Mordecai and Esther made a new law that they could fight for their lives. This is how God saved the people. And when that day came, they had victory instead of slaughter. God is the one that helped. It looked completely impossible. There's a promise that even though it looks impossible, but with God, it, all things are possible. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for a nice day to spend with you. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more of my videos, go to Elijah's Cove or Feed My Lands Ministries. Not that. Bye!